Week number seven finds three District 8 teams on by and two important district games on tap for Friday night. Dennis Weaver here from Friday Night Thunder for the District 8 preview. Columbia, Lawrence County, and Tullahoma will each enjoy a fall break this week, so we begin our district preview in Fayetteville. District leading Shelbyville visits the pit to take on Lincoln County. Rusty Reed of WLIJ Jacks Radio joins us for a report on the Eagles. Shelbyville Central High School Golden Eagles get that all-important huge district win this past Friday night over the Rebels of Franklin County in the game that was a pink-out night at Eagle Stadium. For Shelbyville running back Michael Eddings, it was a career night as Eddings tallied over 220 yards on the ground. If that wasn't enough, add to it five touchdowns that Eddings scored for the Golden Eagles. A close first half. Shelbyville stretched it out in the second half. But no time to rest because this Friday night, Shelbyville travels to the dreaded pit. That's right, the Golden Eagles and the Falcons. Shelbyville and Lincoln County set to do battle tonight at 7 o'clock in Lincoln County. A big game for the Golden Eagles as they are the only team in District 8 AAA without a district loss. So the Golden Eagles looking to go 3-0 tonight. Shelbyville, Lincoln County at the pit. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. For the District 8 AAA preview, I'm Rusty Reed. This is Jack's Radio. Donnie Honey of PMHSports.com covers the Falcons and he files this report. The Lincoln County Falcons finally returned home Friday night after three straight road games so they went a disappointing one and three. And more than likely played themselves out of the postseason in the process. If the Falcons could win out, they might still have a shot at the playoff spots. They will have to play their best three games of the year to do so. The district leading Shelbyville Golden Eagles roll into town Friday night, supporting a 4 2 overall record and 2 0 record in the district. The Falcons must try to slow down the balanced offensive attack of the Eagles while trying to eliminate the mistakes that have sent the Falcons to a 2 5 record. Turnovers and penalties have been the undoing of the Falcons all season, and regardless of the opponent, those must at least be greatly reduced or the results will be the same. Game time is 7 o'clock at the pit for PMHSports.com. This is Donnie Honey reporting. Coffee County visits neighboring Franklin County in a battle of longtime rivals. Lucky Nod is the voice of the Red Raiders for Thunder Radio, and he files this report. This week, the Coffee County Red Raiders will travel to Franklin County to take on the Rebels in a District 8 AAA football matchup. Coffee County has a pretty balanced attack going against the Rebels who will rush the ball a lot. They have rushed for 1,555 yards to only 190 passing. It's the Rebels and Raiders in a District 8 AAA matchup. Both teams come in at 2-4 and four on the season. Tune in for the broadcast on Thunder Radio in Manchester. I'm Lucky Knight for Friday Night Thunder. Al Clark is the voice of Rebels football for WCDT, the sports leader in Franklin County, and he gives us the Franklin County Report. The Rebels finally return home after a five-week break, and it's a welcome sign because the Rebels need to heal and they need a win. Coffee County presents the best chance they've had in a while. You'll hear all the action here on your sports leader in Franklin County as the Rebels attempt to get well after dropping three straight big ones and try to salvage a reputable season for 2014. For the District Day Preview, I'm Al Clark. That does it for the District 8 Roundup for week number 7. I'm Dennis Weaver of Friday Night Thunder.